90 mile an hour bowlers are turning more and more often these days, and it's obvious that they're practicing their bowling in the net. But what are they doing away from their net sessions, which separates them from every other fast bowler out there? Today, we're going to look at four simple gym exercises which can take your fast bowling to the next level. This session is going to be focused on building your upper body strength with some accessories to help you with a bit of muscle building and most importantly for fast bowlers, injury prevention. So let's get into it. For the first exercise, we're going to be doing pull-ups and this is going to be our strength component of the workout. So we're going to be doing five sets of four reps. As a fast bowler, we all know that you need an all round strength, but today's session is going to be completely focused on the upper body. And then we'll do another session later on focused on the lower body. Two movement patterns, which are really good for fast bowling is your vertical pulling and your horizontal pushing. So today we're going to be tackling the vertical pulling aspect of this through a pull-up, but you can do this with other exercises like a lat pull-down. The pull-up is great for scalability. So as you can see, I am using a kettlebell here for weight. So I can go up in weight as the weeks progress, or if you weren't at this level yet, you can work back to doing a body weight pull-up, or if you're not even there yet, you can use a band to assist you with a pull-up. Or if you're lucky enough, and if you have access to an assisted pull-up machine. For our second exercise, we're going to be doing a landmine press. So for every sort of session I do when it comes to strength work, we're going to do a unilateral exercise. So if you're going to make up your own sessions as you go forward, always try to put one of these in. The reason being it sort of helps you with your injury prevention and stops you becoming compensated to one side. As for fast bowlers, you're always going to be heavily one-sided, obviously towards your bowling arm. So when we're in the gym, we want to sort of balance this out and make sure we're working both sides every time. So for this exercise, we're going to be doing three sets of 10, and that is for each arm. This is also going to help us with the muscle building aspect of our shoulders. So as you can see here on every rep, we're going with a slow eccentric, nice and controlled, and then a fast and explosive concentric part of the movement. And that is the part of the movement where we're pushing the weight away from us. For our third exercise, we're going to be doing a dumbbell incline press. Again, carrying on with that muscle building, injury prevention sort of aim. Here, we're going to be doing three sets of 10 again. Again, highlighting the really important aspects here of a slow eccentric and then a fast concentric the lowering phase or the eccentric part of the movement is a big aspect when we're looking to build muscle. So I always aim to do a two to three second lowering of the movement. When we go through now and watch the final set that I do here, so I've, I aim to go really close as you'll be able to see to failure. Um, there's reasons for this, that this is sort of where we're aiming to get in terms of where we're going to get that most muscle building effect. If you ever do one of our programs, you also see that we always highlight a reps in reserve and it'll always be around one to two when we're doing our muscle building stuff. This is just a highlight for our athletes to make sure they are working close to failure. You don't have to work to complete failure, but you need to be close. Finally, we're going to move on to a dumbbell external rotation. So for these, there's done like slightly different here, but this is sort of coined by one of the great strength coaches of Charles Poliquin, where he uses these to help with people's bench press. So the reason we're doing these is just to help all them little muscles form in to make the rotator cuff. So when we are bowling, we're just lowering our chances of getting injured and missing any games when we're in the season. And again, for this exercise, we're going to be hitting three sets of 10 reps, and that is for both sides, as I show here. That's the end of the session, and that was completely focused on obviously building your upper body strength. If you're looking for more training tips, we have an ebook, which I'll chuck in the description below if you want to go and check that out. And if you want another video on a lower body session, go and check out this video.